For a family in Council Bluffs, there was a huge need 8,000 miles away, and they've done something about it. It's new life for children who had little hope. You had to. Family time is great around this table, and believe it or not, it's also the boardroom for a life-changing outreach 8,000 miles away. It started when Ryan and Kara Higgins adopted two orphans in Rwanda. Their hearts broke for the kids they had to leave behind. Really, if I talk about it very much, I'll cry at some point uh, because of this, these kids, we, we feel like they're our family. Over 100 children were in a remote orphanage near the capital of Rwanda. They were living in deplorable conditions when the Higgins first saw them. Rarely got two meals a day. Um, the water was terrible. Everything, I mean, just, just absolutely horrible conditions. The Higgins have successfully spearheaded an effort to change that. In less than two years, the kids were moved to a much larger, nicer facility directly across from a school. The Higgins formed a nonprofit with other volunteers with the goal of finding a sponsor for each child. It's called Imana Kids. We've got a sponsor in Europe. We've got sponsors in Hawaii and New York and pretty much across the country. A total right now of about 90 sponsors who are joining in to give each child a chance. The Higgins 11-year-old daughter, Molly, even raised money to personally go to Rwanda to help kids her own age. I felt really bad for them. So how would you describe those kids? Um, they're kids. I mean, they, they have needs like every other kid. And um, so meeting their needs is, is, you know, what we aim to do. And this was a big moment. During a recent visit, Ryan found a field with artificial turf and arranged a chance for all 100 kids to experience what it's like. Uh, took their shoes off and they felt the, you know, the, the turf with their toes and then some of them got down and put their face on it and it was fantastic and they were doing cartwheels and somersaults and it was just jubilation. One of the most memorable moments of our lives. I wasn't trained to do this. Ryan and I didn't go to school to do this. God's just blessed us. It's just been, this is his plan for us. You know, Ryan's a school teacher. Mm -hmm. Kara works at One World Community Health Center. And three of those kids now that they've been working with have been adopted or else so they're in foster care. Two others in foster care. I love how they say they have their board meetings right around the dinner table. Yeah, it's such a simple little mm -hmm. thing. And it's such a, a massive project that they've begun. But they do have an important gala this Sunday also at Casio's in Omaha.